Now before going on to the fifth reaction, just for a quick practice of yours. Suppose I take ketone. Suppose I take an acetone and I'm carrying out Mg. I'm, I'm, I'm adding Mg to it. It gives me A. I'm adding H plus H2 to this. It gives me B. Quickly work out what's A, what's B. If you don't work it out, you are never going to learn pinacol pinacolone rearrangement. The mechanism that I taught you, you go step by step in the same same fashion, write down each and every step and see how quickly you can reach to B. You have to learn you have to learn to draw pinacol and then you have to learn to rearrange that pinacol into pinacolone. I'm giving you B. You work it out yourself. In case you don't, then I'm really sorry for you because you're listening and listening and listening and you're learning nothing. This is B. You have to get to B. If you can work out B, then you learn pinacol pinacol on rearrangement. If you don't work it out, you will not learn. If you could not work it out, then you did not learn. So look at the mechanism once more and then work it out. Okay, then we'll move on to the fifth reaction and this fifth reaction I have taught you before. So uh, this will be a quick revision of what we studied but since it's an important reaction so I feel the need to tell you once again. If I take a Grignard reagent and I take a cyanide, when I taught you Grignard reagent because the Grignard reagent is an important chemical reagent, so I taught you separately all the reactions of Grignard reagent. So there's a whole series of lectures of Grignard reagent. There was a reaction in that series when that Grignard reagent reacts with cyanide. So previously studied this as a reaction of Grignard reagent and now we are studying it as a method of preparation of ketone. So what happens, th this R and this R dash can be same, they can be different. Now what happens is we get this ketone. Now I will not see in detail all the steps or how this happens, but I'm going to quickly give you an uh, idea of how this happens. Now this Grignard reagent has uh, this R as the reactive part because this R is R minus Mg plus 2 and this X exists as X minus. So X minus is stable, Mg plus 2 is stable. This R minus is the one that goes for reaction. This R minus have to attack something that is plus, having del plus or a plus or plus 2. Now this nitrogen will have a del minus charge, this carbon will have del plus charge because nitrogen being more electronegative pulls up the electron from all three bonds. This carbon is having quite much of a deficiency of electron. So this R minus is going to come and attack this carbon. When that attack happens, one of the bond has to be broken. So you end up with this. When this bond breaks, then that electronic density of this bond goes into the orbital of nitrogen. So nitrogen has N minus a negative charge on nitrogen. And R minus will form a bond with carbon like this. Now there will be no more attack because now this intermediate has a negative charge. And now that R minus will not approach this. Negative don't approach negative. The reaction will stop here. So on subsequent hydrolysis, when you add H plus to this, first it will get neutralized. Now I'm going to bring a situation when we studied Stefan's reaction. When we studied Stefan's reaction, you have to remember those reactions. Now, we are studying those reactions and then you have to remember all of them and try to correlate one from the other. And as you are studying, I'll suggest how to go about because the number of reaction is going to increase. We are just now in the method of preparation of ketone. There will be more reaction that will prepare both aldehyde and ketones. And then I'm going to study the reactions of aldehyde and ketone. So there are a lot many reactions going to come in this chapter. And you will be bogged down by the number if you are not going to be systematic. What you have to do, you have to prepare a list. On a page, you have to write one, two, three the reactions method of preparation of aldehyde then one two three method of preparation of ketone 
then one two three method of preparation of both aldehyde and ketone then one two three reaction of aldehyde one two three reaction of ketone one two three reaction of both aldehyde and ketone if you don't do that then you are not going to remember all the reactions make a list of the reaction in a small diary or a paper and keep looking at them all the time during breakfast lunch dinner while watching tv while you are walking out while you are have you're just lying down on your bed keep looking at that list and then you will master it and that whole list will be engraved into your mind now when i say stefan's reaction you have to know what that goddamn stefan reaction is that is not coming in your mind and you have already studied that then that will create a problem for you because you will not be able to handle all the reactions when the number is going to increase so if you are not doing this i'll suggest you do this you don't have to write the whole mechanism just the name reactant reagent and product that's it and make a list of it and keep looking at them over and over again only then you will remember all of them otherwise you'll study keep forgetting study keep forgetting study keep forgetting and then that will not end up in any good for you so and this is very natural when you study it you will forget it if that's the first time for you so in the only way to go about is make a list of the reactions and keep looking at them over and over again all the time when you come home from school look at them you know going to school look at them you know getting a recess in school look at them then only if you if you strive hard then only they, these reactions are going to bow down in front of you and you're going to master them make the list i'll recommend if you're not making the list you 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 are, you are not going to learn and those reactions are never going to come on your fingertips the only way is make a list of reaction and look at them over and over again now if you remember stefan's reaction if you don't go make a, the the list and study stefan's reaction stefan's reaction was from cyanide and he used essential to to reduce it and to get this and on further subsequent hydrolysis of stefan's reaction you got aldehyde from this if you remember and this part goes into ammonia now similar situation you have here you had c double bond o because of hydrogen you had h here but because of this r you have r dash when you hydrolyze this this is a similar situation as we had in stefan's reaction when you hydrolyze this you will get a ketone because in case of stefan's reaction you had hydrogen here so in the final product also you had hydrogen but in this case you have r dash here so in the final product you will have you will have r dash so the mechanism will be the same without change of a dot so i'm not going to do it again and i'm considering that you are learning and maturing so you have to do it on your own because the same thing has been done in stefan's reaction just do that on your own do that if you don't do that by your hand you're not going to learn this i'm sorry for you right so on subsequent step this nitrogen is going to come out in the form of ammonia and you are going to get this ketone so that's how it works out so in case if you have a cyanide and you are using grignard reagent you will end up in this ketone this will be a important reaction and when studying on the whole of the lot of this preparation of ketone will go on for a big conversion and somewhere in that conversion this reaction is bound to appear because of its importance right but for time being this is what it is so i have a i added ch3 mgx on a and then i hydrolyzed whatever i got i get benzophenone sorry i get acetophenone now you have to identify what's a shouldn't be difficult a would be first of all you have to know what's acetophenone and we have seen a lot many times what acetophenone is now considering that you know acetophenone and considering you heard what i said a minute back you will have no trouble in identifying that a is benzonitrile fine right? so you carry on the reaction on benzonitrile and see whether you are getting acetophenone or not <laughs> 